Kayung dor bar tawan ke jelah Meglaya haka arpa pratri ulber arjar pulai kala menjuri ke bil ban penduk no ya kaan kalai lani ke Meglaya Regulation of Gaming Repeal Bill arja arpulai. Haswaban menjuri ke bil uba arden ula wanra ya ke amendment haka ni ke bil kata ban penam ya ke clause 3 saving clause nama lada menjuri ya ke ringkat kini ke kenduan kan syulong tang ban syupen biet ke ayo pait bak. Haba jubab, u menteri ubadi peti kata nak taxation ke sorkar jela u eti mondal ula pensyai benia halor kani ada keboong. Baka sorkar jela kalah rai ban penduk ya kani ke ak, nama harga jing dawa jongki bobon bentah haka imlang saklang. Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to move that Magala Regulation of Gaming Repeal Bill 2023 be taken into consideration. Motion moved. Now I will put... The question before the House, the question is that bill be taken into consideration. Those who are in favour say aye. Those who are against say no. The ayes have it, the ayes have it, and the motion for consideration is adopted. Now, an amendment has been received to this bill, tabled by Sri Adat Miller Basomait, MLA. Uh, Sri Adat Basomait, you may move the amendment. Sir. Uh, I beg to move that the amendment to the proposed Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Repeal Bill 2023, uh, deleting of Clause 3, saving clause. Yes, you may initiate the discussion. Sir, uh, at the outset, I would like to thank the Honorable Minister for bringing this uh, repealing bill of this Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming uh, Act passed by this. August House. Sir, uh, I would like to express that if this repealing bill is passed with inclusion of this saving clause, will defeat the very purpose of the bill itself, sir. Sir, it seems that this bill with inclusion of this para saving, para three, sir, saving clause is only to hoodwink the people because there has been protests from different quarters of the state against this act brought by the government. So, so we, we are made to understand that applicants for licenses have already been uh, issued, uh, provisional licenses have already been issued to three persons. So if this saving clause is included, that means uh, what will be the fate of those licensees? Because the clause read like this, sir, the repeal of the Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Act 2021 and the Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Repeal Ordinance 2022 by Section 2 shall not revive anything not enforced or existing at the time such of such repeal or B, affect the previous operation of the repealed act rules frame there under, orders or anything duly done or suffered there under, c, affect any rights, privilege, obligation or liability acquired, accrued or incurred on the repeal act or orders on the such repeal act, or d, affect any license fee or any sum of money or fee by whatever name called, realized by government or persons duly appointed by government in respect of anything done under the provision of the repeal act, or e, affect any investigation, inquiry, adju adjudication, or any other legal proceedings initiated, completed, and orders passed under the Repeal Act instituted before such repeal. So I feel that, sir, it should have come in the making prevention of gambling. That means we ban completely. It has to be retrospective. But including this saving clause, sir, create a doubt in the mind of the people. What will be the fate of those? A licensee who have been, ish, I mean, received a provisional uh, license. That is my contention, sir. Which is why I bring this uh, amendment to delete the entire, uh, repeal the entire bill, sir, completely, sir, without including this uh, saving clause. Minister, just to reply, please. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. At the outside, outset, let me express my gratitude to the honorable member from Nongkren, Baden, Basamut, for having bringing this amendment and thereby giving us a chance to clear the 
doubts. Sir, the intention of the government to enact Meghalaya Regulation Gaming Act 2021 has been explained in the August House when the discussion on the bill was introduced in the budget session of 2021. And I don't think those uh, things we need to be discussing in this session. Then after the said bill was enacted by the legislature and the act was published in March 2021, the rules were similarly published in the gadget of Meghalaya in December 2021. With the publication of the rules, the implementation of the provisions of the Act and the rules was started in the right at that time. But in the meantime, uh, the government has gone about the various aspects of the game, keeping in mind the welfare of the people of the state. And thinking on that, the government has decided that better to repeal this act because uh, the demands were coming from various quarters and government also sees with the problem that will be faced by the people of the state. And accordingly, the department has carried out several activities in order to implement the provision of the act and rules framed there under earlier. And all these were carried out as per the act <coughs> to uh, see the tendering and all these things, then expression of interest. And some people, they have uh, 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 put their interest for license. Around eight people have been uh, applied for the license, out of which three were granted, and ultimately two have submitted their uh, bank guarantees. Sir, I like to say in this house that the term of uh, their licenses, the provisional licenses, has already expired. And one of the uh, uh, licensee had already withdrawn his bank guarantee also. So there is nothing like that. They will come back and uh, will uh, again ask for the uh, license and all these things. The another person is there. His uh, licenses, uh, provisional licenses, already have been expired. And uh, he has uh, not yet shown interest to withdraw the bank grant. Maybe he will be withdrawing very soon or we'll be asking him to withdraw his bank grant. Bank grant. Sir, after due deliberation, the government has taken a step to repeal this act. Since the House was not in session, the Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Repeal Ordinance 2022 was promulgated by the Governor of Meghalaya on the 31st December 2022 and published in the Gazette on 3rd January 2023 to appeal the Gaming Act. Now that the House is in session, the ordinance promulgated by the Governor has to lay before the Assembly in the form of a bill as required under Article 213, Clause 2, Sub Clause A of the Constitution of India. Therefore, it is proposed to replace the above said ordinance by a bill, namely the Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Repeal Bill 2023. Sir, as a matter of abundant precaution, this clause which we have uh, introduced, the saving clauses, this is as a matter of abundant precaution as it is necessary that saving provision is provided in the repeal bill to prevent any future challenge to the actions taken by the government and the uh, officials while carrying out the activities necessary for implementation of the act and the rules. Uh, we consulted the law department also uh, regarding this and uh, the clause 3 provides for savings of the Magala Regulation of Gaming Act 2021, the purpose of saving clause in this legislation is to protect and safeguard all the rights, action previously taken, any order or direction issued under the re repeal provision of the Magala Regulation of Gaming Act 2021 and Magala Regulation of Gaming Rules 2021. The saving clause of Meghalaya Regulation Gaming Repeal Bill 2023 is proposed 
in terms of section 6 of the general clauses act 1897 and also is a valid uh, legislative exercise by the government based on the policy con consideration therefore the saving uh, savings clause found in the proposed bill is necessary to be retained and may not be deleted sir having said that i think uh, there won't be any problem as mentioned by the honorable member from Millen. So now I will request the honorable member to kindly withdraw the amendment to the bill. Thank you, sir. Now, the will the mover withdraw the amendment? Sir. Oh, sorry. Sir, I would like to thank the honorable minister for having clarified and removed the doubts that are there in the minds of the people, including the members of this August House. So since uh, we are afraid that maybe these uh, people who have been issued with this provisional license will be able to validate the license. So since there is no such scope, I do hereby uh, withdraw my amendment, sir. Okay. okay. Since the mover has withdrawn his amendment, now let me put the question before the House. The question is that the amendment brought to this bill be withdrawn. Those who are in favour say aye. aye. Those who are against say no. The ayes have it, the ayes have it. And the amendment to the bill stands withdrawn.